Hello, I'm Ben Guest, the fund manager of the British Strategic Investment Fund and the head of Gresham House New Energy here at Gresham House PLC. Today, at the start of February 2018, I would like to discuss the investment strategy for the funds that I manage, which includes the UK housing and infrastructure markets. In terms of UK housing, today the UK housing market is highly diverse. Regionally, we see very different pricing levels. In the London region, for example, the market has performed strongly for many years, driven by heavy investment by international investors and investment funds, especially in central London, and also helped by the tailwind of cheap funding. This has more recently deflated or abated somewhat by, due to hikes in stamp duty and due to Brexit. However, there are also more permanent reasons for the differences across the UK, such as the differences in income levels. Nonetheless, today we are cautious about investing at a time when there are very few value investable opportunities in the London region. However, in the rest of the country, we are, remain much more optimistic. Many areas have shown poor performance since the Great Recession of 10 years ago, while investment in national rail, road, infrastructure, as well as ever improving communications are all helping to level the playing field with London somewhat. By demographic, we also see significant changes and opportunities. The number of people living under one roof continues to decline as a combination of first-time buyers, on average smaller families, divorcees, and retirees tending to live alone much more often. Indeed, the average number of people under one roof in the UK is likely to dip below two for the first time in coming years. It is therefore no surprise that we see opportunities in, so in social housing, in first-time buyer and retirement home segments. In terms of infrastructure, the market is fascinating as well. We are all familiar with the traditional definitions of core infrastructure, as many people call it, often government-led contracts lasting at least two decades involving typically very large amounts of money, investing in areas like airports, roads, rail, bridges, even large energy projects. However, infrastructure projects include all forms of asset-backed project-like investments, which have a multi-decade life, which serves population at large in terms of their basic needs. And these include IT, energy, education, healthcare, and even the food industry. Today, we have a pipeline where the amounts needed for a project are not in the billions or hundreds of millions, but in the tens of millions, which fits our fund's sweet spot. And this does not mean that the overall amount of investment needed in infrastructure is any smaller than before, just that the increments are smaller and the number of projects more numerous. We also see the technology sector playing a crucial role. Renewable energy is taking over the energy mix. Batteries are also transforming the energy market and transforming the transportation sector forever. Better modeling and material science is changing how homes are built. IT is only just beginning to change how we think about the healthcare market. Recycling is being changed by technology too. Pelletization, filtration of many kinds are changing the solid waste and water industries, as well as the energy industries in some regards. And technology in other areas like lighting are changing the construction sector, both in the housing market, but also in other areas, which might be surprising, such as the agriculture and horticultural markets. In brief, we have a large pipeline of deals offering many cookie-cutter opportunities, showing strong defensible returns. And these also present secular growth opportunities when investments can be made into the developers of such projects at a modest risk. Therefore, the attraction of the infrastructure sector and its lack of correlation to the broader market make this particularly exciting after such a long economic upswing where cyclicality starts to become a real concern.